whatever what width you have, you know, it's crazy. And uh, so usually what I tell people is, you know, try to get a property that's like up on a hill that has a uh, beach view, like like an ocean view property. Nice ocean views pro properties drop in price dramatically. And uh, if you're yeah, if you're further away from the beach, and it you know at the end of the day that's what you want. You want the ocean view. You're not you're not really interested in having all the sand inside your house every day. <laughs> you know, and, and it's things that people don't don't look at before they. It's the truth. Right? No, I always yeah. I've always been like that. I'm like I don't need to be right on the ocean ever. And and, and right. people don't realize yeah, so it's a nice experience to have your house there. But there is a, a, a numerous amount of added work. Right. You know, after yeah. you buy it. Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff. Also, the salty winds, they'll right. destroy it. Everything. The they'll yeah. destroy it. Right on the beach, but you're higher up in the mountain, you know, the solids stay lower, so the salt won't hit, you know, oh, right. as hard. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, that's, oh, yeah. But yeah, we can we can find lots of property. I'll I'll ask around because I That'd have. Be great. Yeah, yeah we wanted to. Guys. We wanted to look on this trip, so perfect. Yep. Look, Somewhere within, like, a mission accomplished. Here, Another know, mission. Anywhere on the peninsula, really. A I big would say, part of our mission. I don't know. Oh, nice. Yeah. And this is a great spot because there's, you asked not, me really, what my <laughs> there's not as much development up here. Um, so property values are, you know, considerably low. So you can get some nice property here for low cost. Yeah. What is an example? It depends. I, I I don't exactly know how much the meter runs around here, but uh, I mean you can get a property for fifty thousand dollars that you know could be three thousand square meters. You know, just something ridiculous. Or you could just rent and rent year round and not have to worry about. It. In that case, you'd better get like a timeshare. Yeah, do people do that around here? Do people yeah. like rent a place and just keep it all year? That's what I was suggesting to my friends. I think that would be the next step before actually buying a place. Yeah. Like yeah. Well, but the, the thing is that, that and that's one of the things house, the house, the house, the house, that yeah. affects people a lot with the whole buy oh, yeah. big house. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're yeah. either going to have to have someone to take care of your property. Uh, you know, or somebody can live there, or at least to go once a month to, you know, to check the place out. Right. Because there is a lot of squatting at the bottom of it. So you need to get someone you know, to take care of property. Like my friend from Morgan, he, uh, he's got me going to his property. Once a month. I know, I know. So, you know, I just make sure, you know, that there's no rats in the house. And if I see that there's a leak or something, I'll get it fixed. Or, you know, that, that's. Yeah, or would you rent it? Maybe you can rent it. Oh, rent it. My wife is saying, can you find a home? My ex. Not right off. We were not going to get a tattoo. We have to have someone check in. Potential spot is like.